Yo, yo, what up, what up, everyone? Uh, check it out, I'm gonna get straight to business. So, um, I had a few questions of, uh, and I had a few comments that people would tell me, uh, saying that they're thinking about, they're leaving their job and doing this full time. And uh, it kind of got me thinking uh, of the last time I worked for a company, which is about a year and a half ago. And, you know, I don't look back anymore. I really don't think about getting a job anymore. I've had friends offer me like, hey, they're hiring here, hiring there. And to me, it's like, wait, I don't need, I don't really need a job, you know? I'm doing pretty well right now. But it got me thinking, okay, so why did I quit my job? Because I did quit, I had a full-time job as a bike messenger. Kind of similar to this. I had a job at, I tried out a job at T-Mobile. I quit that within the first couple months. And there's a couple other jobs now thinking back on it. Would I quit that job for this, what I'm doing now? The answer is most definitely yes now I'm gonna tell you guys why I'll tell you guys why I quit um, why I quit my job to do this full-time I'll try to keep it as simple as possible but I, I wrote down a, a little list here so here we go um, they're just kind of random order but I'm just gonna speak about each one for a little bit so first is uh, you know what there's the flexibility I get here is it's not like any other job that I, that, that, will, that will give you. Uh, here, you can work anytime you want. Uh, you make it, you basically make your own schedule. You want to work today, you can work today. You don't want to work tomorrow, you don't work tomorrow. So that flexibility is uh, it's great. You know, if I want to go to school in the mornings, I could do that and work work this in the afternoon. Cool. If I have you know, for some of some of you that have kids, you know, you guys can work on the days that they have babysitters or the times they're at school. You know, it's it gives you that flexibility, and and a lot of jobs won't do that uh, for you. And my job didn't do that. I had to be there for sure an X amount of time, hours, clock in, clock out. Uh, and if I couldn't be there, I had to give a reason why. So that flexibility is one huge thing why I decided to go with this full time and quit my job. Uh, another reason is um, instant pay. Oh, here's one big one. You know, traditional jobs, they pay you either every Friday um, or they pay you bi-weekly. Like I was getting paid bi-weekly. They gave me a check. I had to go cash the check. Yeah, at the bank. I actually had to wait on um, Friday. I was I was off at uh, uh, off at uh, seven, but I had to wait for them to have my check ready. So if they were late on the checks, I had to stick around until they gave me my physical check so I could cash it. Uh, and you know, obviously, if you don't have a bank account, it's fees. If you have a bank, sometimes it takes a day, and it's, it's a hassle, you know. Sometimes my check would be put on hold. Uh, and you know, it's just I couldn't have getting paid my money in days in a row. It's like, here, um, all apps app offer were instant pay. You can either wait for your check and get direct deposit every week, or every day you can just get cashed out. I could do one delivery right now and just cash out and have that money access available to me immediately. I like that. You know, sometimes we need our money right away. We need we, some surprise stuff comes up. We need to have access to those funds. And and that job and a lot, a lot of other jobs that I've had in the past do not offer that. So instant pay is definitely uh, a big one for me. Um, here's another one. Freedom. Now here at this job, it's like I have so much freedom. I can do anything I want. I can film a video for my YouTube followers if I want. I can listen to music. Trump's getting impeached right now. I can watch that live, which I will do right now. You know, I can uh, I can just go to in and out right now, have me a burger. You know, I could take a week off if I want to. 
I can, uh, our friend can join me and we can go do this together, you know? I can go work anywhere I want. I can go to North Hollywood, I can go to Santa Monica, I can go to the beach. You know, it's a lot of freedom here. You have no one to report to. Freedom is huge and I can go on and on about the freedom that I have here. I'm just kind of give you guys an example of what it feels like to just kind of like not have to be reporting to anybody. Uh, so that's definitely one huge, huge reason why, uh, why I chose this. Uh, here's another one. You get exercise. Boom. Shit, I'm working out all the time. I'm doing my cardio right now. I got strong legs. My, I mean, I'm working my upper body too. You're always kind of working it out. It's not as strong as my legs, but you know, you got your heart pumping, you got your lungs going. It's good for you. And uh, over time, it just gets easier. You have energy all the time. You know, this is, you need to do this. I don't have a gym membership. I get paid to work out. So exercise is definitely one, one dope thing about uh, this, this uh, gig economy business. Bike deliveries. Here's another one, exploration. Oh, look, with these deliveries, you're going to be going to all kinds of random places. And you discover a lot of cool things around your city. Uh, I discovered a shitload of things around here, around LA that I would have never done if I was just going to one office every single day, Monday to Friday. You know, I, I'm, I'm in different places all the time. So that's cool, getting to explore your city, I mean your city, and you know, just checking out like all the cool restaurants, the bars, events going on. You know, like yesterday, the art walk was happening in downtown LA. So I got to check out the art while I was working, you know. Super cool, that's that's one huge thing. You know, you could do a lot with that while you're going all and about. And you're on the bike too. One cool thing about exploring your city on the bike is you see the things, you know, you have no obstruction of your sight. You can see everything around you. In a car, you know, you have a lot of distractions. You got your meters, you got your radio, your steering wheel, your, the, the, the car, the windows. You don't get to experience a city like, like you do on a bike. So like, the exploration part of your city, that's a huge thing for me. Another one, it's fun. It's really fun out here. I mean, I enjoy cycling. I love cycling. I was cycling before I did food delivery. Uh, I, would, I would do hundreds, I would do a hundred miles in one day, just riding around the city, give myself a little challenge. So I enjoy this stuff. So this kind of just uh, gives me the chance to make money at the same time. You know, um, I mean, I like to, I like to work in stimulating uh, environments, and this definitely is something that keeps me engaged all the time. There's always something going on. Some, there's always some visual, like some visual uh, stuff going around you that's just entertaining, like artwork. You got uh, you got people walking around. Check out different cars. Um, you know, it's just fun uh, cycling. I don't know if you guys enjoy it. I love this stuff. Uh, here's one, no boss. I got no boss, son. Well, our boss is an algorithm. Our boss is literally an algorithm and an app that someone built. There's no one actually there behind there sending you the jobs. I know one of my friends thought that that's how it worked. Someone was just sending you the jobs. Like, no, no, no. It's all systematic. Depending on the location you're in and where you're at, you're the closest person to the restaurant, they send you. So that's literally like, all I have to worry about is accepting and declining rides. Nothing more. Occasionally, you're gonna get your customer saying, hey man, can you bring me an extra barbecue sauce? Yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. <laughs> that's as much as like, someone would ever tell me like to do something and to me that's like that's not even like telling me that's just like that's kind of like a favor your friend asks, hey on the way can you bring me like can you bring me some cigarettes or can you bring me like some beer or whatever that's a that's a favor that's all right with me but that's as that's as deep as it gets uh, so you know the freedom of not having a boss not having no one looking over your shoulder all the time telling you like you know, have you done this? Have you done that? 
you know, just on your ass. You don't got none of that doing this. And that's why I love it. I do not like anyone telling me what to do. No one tells me what to do any time of the day. I don't have a girlfriend that tells me what to do. I don't got a wife that tells me what to do. Um, my mama don't tell me what to do. Uh, you know, that's I love that. So this is <laughs> definitely if you don't like having a boss all up on your breathing on your neck, this is definitely a good gig for you. Um, no coworkers. Now here, here, here's a little, this can go good or bad. Cause I had jobs that coworkers make the whole job tolerable. Coworkers make it super fun sometimes. But the majority of coworkers, you can have a bad experience. You know, you got people telling you what to do when it's not even their responsibility to tell you what to do. And they don't even know how you do your job. And it's like, ah, you know, it's like you get that little frustration. I ain't trying to deal with that. Um, so, you know, a lot, a lot of, there's people who just don't like being around people. Like, they like to be on their own. That's a cool thing about this, because you're going to have some conversations here and there. I mean, you can engage in conversations with people when you're waiting for food and stuff like that, but if you don't want to, you don't got to. You don't have to have, you know, you don't have to talk to people like you do with your coworkers. Like, ah, shit, I gotta, you gotta do this, we gotta do that. You know, you gotta rely on other people. Someone doesn't, someone fucks up, you fuck up. All right, none of that. Um, and here's one. Man, there's a lot of eye candy. Every time I work, I see the most beautiful girls all over, all over the city. Um, and well, for girls, you know, it's a lot of dudes out there. It's like, it's cool, it's eye candy for me. I love it. You know, uh, good looking people release dopamine in the brain. You feel good, just staring at their faces. Or other parts, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's definitely something all day, every day, man. Like, girls are gorgeous out here. I mean, I told y'all my videos almost fucking come near having a stroke. Girls are so fine. So that's one big plus. And my last one, here's one that people think it's a it's a con. Taxes. Man, you guys get so scared because you gotta pay taxes at the end of the year. I look at it way differently. The way I see it is I get all my money up front. And I choose to do whatever I want with my money. You guys talk to yourself to a good tax guy. Uh, figure out how you can uh, get some shit written off because it varies from state to state. I can't tell you one thing, it might be different for you where you're at. But to me, if the fact that I can get all my money right up front instead of being taxed, you know, like a job, like a job, be like, all right, cool, we're gonna pay you 17 bucks an hour for this. Cool. After taxes and all that bullshit, you're only getting like $13. What the fuck am I gonna do with $13 a, a month? I mean, an hour. Fuck that you know i get my money up front i make 20 25 bucks an hour and i get all that money up front then every quarter you could do it quarterly or yearly and do your taxes to me in my opinion that's fucking way better because i can use my money invest the money i get make more money and then pay taxes with the money i make it's just like why are you taking my money right off the bat and you know, when some jobs, they don't even pay you that much hourly. And then after taxes, it's like, what? I'm working for seven, eight, nine, ten dollars an hour? No wonder people hate their jobs, you know? So anyway, guys, those are some reasons why I quit my full-time job to do this full-time. And that is me being 100% real with you. I hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, if you guys got any comments or questions, let me know. In the, in, the, in the bottom if you guys like to hear more stuff like this follow my channel anyways i gotta get to work son about to clock in this motherfucker <laughs> i mean uh today i'm i decided to do beverly hills i'm like why not you know got that freedom let's try it out see how it is out here it's friday so we're gonna see how it is have a little fun out here in beverly hills i got the 360 camera so we're gonna take some pictures some video boom i'm looking forward to today anyways guys be safe out there make that money peace